Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. Now before I could even complete Shadow of Mordor or fix the kinks in my Dota 2 Reborn benchmark, virtual programming have brought us a new Linux port, namely Dirt Showdown of Codemasters Repertoire. So this new title, there's a couple of things you should note. It's using VP's Eon wrapper, so it's not fully native, but that's okay. And it's running at minimum, I believe it's OpenGL 4.1, and they require or they recommend 4.2 so I'm pretty sure it scales as you play the game depending on the visual fidelity you choose but 4.1 is about where we can base it off the Windows side would be on DirectX 11 at most so with that said on the Ubuntu side we're running the 355.06 NVIDIA drivers absolute latest on the Windows side it's 355.60 so pretty much they're the same branch as far as I can tell just different patches I'm guessing now one last thing to note is that the benchmark is not frame for frame. It is similar, they go through the same uh, the same track, but it is not an exact frame for frame exact movement. The AI changes every time, a little bit. Nonetheless, it gives us a good idea of what's happening, so let's go ahead and see the results, because I think you're going to like them. So starting off the bat, we're going with 720p, the lowest resolution that I will test. Now everything absolutely off low settings, we are seeing an average frame difference of 43 frames per second with Ubuntu in the lead, which is surprising. So when we max everything out at 720p, then we see the table turn, the tables turn slightly and Windows takes a lead with 27 frames per second difference, but not as large as when everything was on low. So pumping everything up to 1080p, which is the maximum resolution I can currently support, the lowest settings at 1080p has Ubuntu once again in the lead at 43 frames per second difference again, which is pretty darn significant. But when we turn everything to the max, and I mean push everything regardless, we see Windows take a lead again, but this time only 20 frames per second difference. And there is an explanation for this at the end of the video, which is uh, pretty interesting to say the least. So I have everything... Things, having the game side by side, Ubuntu on the left and Windows on the right, both running the exact same hardware, everything absolutely maxed out. We are seeing about a 10 frames per second difference at any given time, which is not as significant as I thought I might see. Right, we are seeing a jump there for a moment to 20 frames per second difference. Yep, consistently 20 frames per second difference there. So the biggest thing that you'll notice is that the difference in graphical settings is that Ubuntu has at max 16 times MSAA. But on the Windows side, the NVIDIA driver allows us to use C uh, QCSAA. So that allows a slight performance boost on the Windows side, which is what we're seeing in the results here, which is why they're not exactly head-to-head -head or neck-to-neck. -neck. Regardless though, this is a wrapper, not a native port, so I'm really surprised that it performs this well. VP has done a really good job with this title, and I can't not recommend it. Okay, to summarize it pretty quickly, the results just now are pretty fun to look at. You're going to notice that on everything low, 720p or 1080p, the Linux port actually takes the lead. It goes, it surpasses the Windows side by quite a bit, quite a large margin actually. But when we max everything out on both platforms, then Windows takes a slight lead. So I was wondering why that is, and I was looking through the differences in the graphical options. We have everything the Windows users have except for one thing, and I believe this is due to the NVIDIA driver, and not so much due to VP. And if you were to look at the anti-aliasing, on the Linux side we have at max 16 MSAA. All right, So this is the older style of doing anti-aliasing, which is very heavy but produces very nice results. On the Windows side, we can go up to 16 times CQSSAA. I'm pretty long thing to say there. So this is up to the NVIDIA driver to provide this. What it does is it produces the similar results to the 16 times MSAA, but at a, I believe, a lower, lower memory usage. I'm pretty sure the performance is even better with it. So to end this video, I'm putting both ports now, both the Windows side and the Linux side, running side by side here, and I'm going to let you see the results yourself. What happens when we put the anti-aliasing to 8 times MSAA for both, so that they're both exactly the same, all maxed out, except that anti-aliasing is the exact same settings. Alright, so I think you'll be pretty interested in seeing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and keep watching if you want to see what happens to the results.
And another one crosses the finish. They made it to the finish.